Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got something a little bit different. It's still a tutorial, I'm still gonna make these cards, but I just also wanted to share a really cool product. So this is the new Opal Polish from Cosmic Shimmer. And basically if you've used like the gilding polishes, if you use embossing pastes, um, all those kind of um, texture pastes, mediums, in your mixed media projects, all that kind of stuff, then you will you will love this product. Um, I stumbled upon it by accident. I'm a, you know I use a lot of Cosmic Shimmers products, and this is um, distributed by Creative Expressions, and I have their products as well. Um, but it was on their Facebook group, and it was a demonstration. I think they were in Frankfurt a few weeks ago, and um, yeah, it just started to play on my Facebook feed and I watched it and I thought, wow, that is pretty impressive stuff. Um, brought the, 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 the set of six, which I've got here, um, and I was showing it with my mum and she was like, this is really cool. And even my dad thought this, this stuff is good. So I've been playing around with it today because I ordered three from one company because they didn't have the other three and then I ordered the other three from another company and then the one I originally ordered from ended up having all six by the time I, these were coming so I really went to get them like literally days after they'd just been released so not everybody had them actually physically in the warehouses so it was kind of like a pre-order. Anyway I'm going to go through all the colours in a moment. I just want to show you the kind of effects and what this is all about. So you can see here they give you a lovely iridescent finish but you get two colours out of one pot. And that's the magic, that's the really, really cool part. So, you know, this pot here gives you two diff different colours and it's it's really, really cool to watch. So this one here I've used on white cardstocks. This is just smooth white 300 GSM white cardstock. This is from Paper Mill Direct. And I just wanted to do a tone on tone and I've done no sentiments on any of the cards because I just thought they're ready to go when I need them. But this would look nice for maybe a wedding anniversary or even a wedding card, a congratulations. You know something like that but also what I'm going to show you is this amazing new bubble 3D embossing folder also by Creative Expressions which they release the same time but yeah I've just added the flowers they're just some punched flowers that I put on that one this one here is showing three of the colors which again I'm going to show you how they come together I thought this was quite a spring looking card looks really nice and again I kept the same theme throughout so that's one thing I'm going to continue I've just matted them on a really nice um, thin piece of gold, that one is their gold uh, mirrored cardstock and again I've used that bubble embossing fold, I'm going to use some different ones in this kind of demonstration here I've used the three colours, this is a bit more grungy um, you've got the blue going into the purple down into the gold there and then I've used the same colours to do the flowers really really fun and then this is tone on tone with the purples and I've added a silver this is a top folding landscape and I thought maybe a special number there you could have like you know 50th birthday so that's why I've kept that plain so I can add something so I think that that needs a, a, a big birthday number there I think that would look really cool and you can see all the dimension if I bring it up there on that embossing folder and also obviously all the height there I've got with those beautiful flowers so that's the kind of cards that's the end result so what I've already gone ahead and done is I have gone and used my embossing folders and I've created these lovely um, background so I've got this one here which is the honeycomb and this is a 3d embossing folder by stamping up and um, made by Sizzix so that's that one which gives you this here so I've done one on black and one on white okay then I've got this is a new one this is the Gemini um, like pillow pillow effect and it gives you this one here and this again is the 3d one it's really raised it's probably quite hard to tell here but it is it's really dimensional well 3d and then I've done it on the white as well there and it's, it's gorgeous it's really really nice so that's that one I will put all these links in my blog to these folders as well this is my favorite one this is the new one by creative expressions this is called bring this one over oh no that's another one that I brought that's another good one this one isn't 3d though and I just think this technique will show up better when I'm filming it with a 3d embossing folder but that's another new one I got that's the candy burst that's really cool but it's this one here, Bubble Burst. Uh, 
um, it's EF3D011 but again I'll share the links to where I've got it from they are the other four designs which I'm probably going to end up getting as well because I love that heart that's the bubble one so there's just three more to get there that spiral one was the one that I think she demonstrated on actually so that's that one there and you can see here just look at that and it can almost, it's almost like um, a skin, like an animal skin as well, when you, like um, a dragon. So if you've got any, you know, anybody that loves dragons and all the kind of, you know, mythical, magical, whimsical, all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying. But it's, it's really, really cool. And that's it there on the white. And again, you can probably just see there's a lot of dimension. If you look against the black there on the side of that, you can see all the different parts there raised. It's really, really lovely. So those are, yeah, like I said, love embossing folders. Um, okay, this is the fun part. So I'm gonna just grab some copy paper. Now I have made a little swatch here, but I'm not really gonna show these to you yet because they give away the colors. So I just want you to kind of look at this and you know, see if you get um, as excited as I did. Maybe it's just me, I don't think it is. I think it's pretty cool. So let me use my swatch here just so I can go through. So lavender blue, let's have a look. So this is lavender blue. So if you're not familiar with these, so you screw the lid off and it gives you your lovely paste there, I guess. And then on the top here, you click it off. It's kind of, it has a plastic there, which has obviously come off now. And it has your built-in sponge. Now the good thing about this is it's obviously less mess, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to rub all the excess off. You can just click that back in as long as it clicks in and that will stay, you know, nice and soft so that when you go to use it again, you can use it. Now, also the good thing about using this is it, it's almost instant dry. So you can pretty much, once you've done it and almost finished it, the beginning's already dry. So yeah, it's, it's, that's also a good seller for me. So take off your lid, clip out your little top here. Now take some of it and you just want to create the lady that I watched. She said, have like a little kind of ski slope effect. So you see it kind of dips down and just kind of rub off the excess. You don't want to have, you don't need a lot. And these will last you for ages. Okay. So I'm just trying to think in my head, because I do want to, I'm keeping all these, I've cut them kind of to size. So I want to think about blending them, but for the minute I'm just going to show you. I might try and fit all six colours along this one, that might look quite cool. Okay, so I'm very carefully now, I'm just going to swipe that up here. And there we go. So that is the colour that's in the pot. Okay, and it's this really nice, it's all pearlized. You can just see there, and obviously once that dries. So that's that one there. Now... If I get that same one and put it on the black, what colour do you think is going to come out on the black? You would think the blue. So I'm just going to pop some more on here and then same swoop and you get purple. And that's a real deep purple. It's coming up almost, I think, because it's hitting the, the light, so the pearlized kind of colours coming through there, but that is purple. So you see there your two different colours blue and purple. Really cool. Okay, so let's pop that back and maybe my swatch will show it a little bit more, but the lavender blue gives you those two colours. So that's that one there and then that one there. So you get purple and blue. So two colours in one pot. Now this will work on any kind of dark colours. So if you're using dark navy, dark green, all your darker colours, you're going to have that purple colour and your lighter colours, you're going to have that blue. Okay, so that's that one. Then I'm going to use the blue parakeet which I think was this one here yeah so blue parakeet has obviously got this greeny color so again take it off click these out okay again just kind of load up your sponge and then I'm going to go straight down this one here and it comes out blue and it is so nice it's so shiny and just looks awesome. That's why I'm showing it on this um, card here because it uh, just seems to just show it up better. Then on here, and you get this lovely green, which is the colour in the pot. So look at that now. And you can blend them. I've overlapped there and you've got kind of a greeny yellow going on there, but they blend really nicely. So, you know, there's four different colours there and that's across two pots. So that's that one there. Then I'm going to use 
Let's do, what's another good one? Well, they're all good to be fair. Let's do blushed, blushed peach. That's golden flamingo, blushed peach. So again, exactly the same way. Load it up. Do this one first. Put a bit too much on there. It doesn't matter to be fair, but you get that really nice, just like a rose, kind of rosy gold colour. Really lovely. And then I do the same. You'll get this peachy colour now on the white. But because it's all pearlized, look at that. Just how you can see how already you're creating a really cool background. This would look nice as like a bit more kind of underwater, I think, because of that green and blue there. So that one there is your blushed peach. And then we've got golden flamingo, which is this one here. Okay, so you've got this really nice, again, kind of pinky peach. Pop it here. And look, oh, look at that gold. It is so nice. These are just awesome and they're so quick to use. And this one I'm going to add here. It's probably going to be a bit similar to the one next to it. Yeah, it's just lighter, but it's gorgeous. And that is the pinky flamingo colour, which you can just see there. So what a difference, you know, between that one there in gold and there's your pinky colour. So that's that one. And then, oh, I'm only gonna get five on here, not all six. So let's do pink thistle, which is this one here. And I'll do the other one on another. So look at that, look at that gorgeous paste. Again, load it up. I'm gonna do it down this side here. Look at that. It's a darker shade to that one there, it is a darker almost like a raspberry kind of colour. But look how cool that background is. I've gone a bit heavy in there in terms of it being just like all the others, but that is still a really nice... If you imagine all stars from the galaxy on the embossing folder, having its stars and then doing this on your backgrounds, and that's dry. All of that is completely dry. So like I said, it's very quick. And then if I just do this one on the edge here, look at that lovely purple finishing it off there and again look at those two really lovely backgrounds really quick so that is these now there's one more to show in terms of the two different colors but look at all the colors there that we've got like I said there's 10 different colors there already um, and then the last one is golden glow so this is just two kinds of shades of gold really you don't get too much out of this one but it's actually if I use the honeycomb then that works quite well with the gold. So I'm going to kind of take a bit of excess off and then just roughly, very lightly go across. And then maybe kind of just blend it out a little bit towards the top. But this sponge makes the application really easy to do. Look at that. You know, and then you've got a little bumblebee on here and you've got a nice little saying saying, be happy. It's just, I love it, I think it's really good. And you can go around the edges, so if you wanna just, and you can kind of frame it, like so. Just to kind of seal it off a little bit. Isn't that lovely? Really nice, really rich that one is. And that colour again, what did I say that was? The Golden Glow. So that's it on black. And then if I grab the white here and do exactly the same again, so just very lightly. So it's, this, it's the same really, this one. There were just two nice shades of, of gold, but this has got a lot, lot more softer. Finish. But I mean, I've been playing around with these a lot today. You, you do start to get used to using the sponge and, you know, putting more or less pressure on. And I'll show you some other little samples that I've got as well. But look at that. 
Isn't that stunning? Really is lovely. Every time I don't get bored of this. Just want to go over that a little bit more. But I just think the the effect they give just works so well with you know an embossed piece of cardstock. And you can layer it up as well. Like I said, it, it dries so quick. There we go. Look at that, ready to go. And go over the middle a little bit more there. Gorgeous. Then I'm gonna do just want to show off this embossing folder, but I want to do this here in the pink. So now I can show you my swatch and you can kind of see a bit more the two colours. So that's the lavender blue, there's the blue parakeet, so that's on the black and then on the white. It's a real kind of like lime green, it's lovely, I really like that one. Blushed peach, in fact I've just put pink there and it should say white, never mind. That's the cardstock, so it's on black cardstock and white cardstock. There's your golden flamingo, pink thistle I love, you get those two different shades there. And then like I said, that's your golden glow, so you can see it's much, much softer. It's a real kind of, I'd say yellowy gold there. Whereas that's a bit softer. But yeah, I really like them. So I'm going to use, I want to use this pink, that one there, the golden flamingo on this here. I don't know, I've just got an, an idea to do like a princess kind of card with the the pillow kind of effect on the background. So this is, just check it is. But again, just load up your sponge and then you can go over it. Now what I might do with this one is I'm gonna push down, I'm gonna actually fill in so I can show you all of the, the embossed parts of it. I'm gonna fill it all in. And you can buff this off as well. So again, I'll show you that in a moment. If you get right in there, kind of dab it down. Look at that. Again, it's kind of not picking up. It's really pink. It really is. It's a lovely, lovely shade. It's the colour of the pot, but on here it looks more golden because obviously the light's hitting on it. So I don't tend to do too much mixed media in my card making. I tend to keep that for my scrapbooking and even then I don't, I'm not a real heavy um, mixed media person, but I imagine people who do love doing their mixed media will really like these because they are, they're, they're really lovely to work with. And look at that. So this is that color <laughs> right now, but it's hard to see with the, the lights from my lamp but it's beautiful, it really is lovely. Um, and what one should I do this colour? Let's do, um, put that back in there. Let's look back on this again. Just look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love these so much. Really, really do. Um, I'm gonna do the blue again there, actually. I think the blue was from the green here. Let me just check, because you wouldn't think, yeah. But I think that's the most contrasting of them all. You know, you get this on the white and then you get that color on the back. It's just brilliant. And you wouldn't think that that is gonna give you that blue, but it does. So again, just gonna load this up. And I'm gonna really, look at that. <laughs> It's just magic. I'm now on what, about 20 minutes and I have already made, okay I'd already embossed the, you know, had that ready, but I have made, you know, so many lovely backgrounds. And yes, you can get this just from using mirrored cardstock and things like that, but you do have a different texture to this. There is a different finish. And it's fun to do, and that's what I love. There we go, and that will just take a few minutes to dry. They all, like I said, they all go away so quickly. I'm covered because I've been working on them a lot today, but it all washes off as well, so. But look at that, isn't that amazing? They are just so, so good. Guys, I love them. <laughs> like, seriously, you could have just got me this for Christmas and I would have just been the happiest girl. They just look so good. It's got a real like silver going through it as well. It looks metal, doesn't it? It looks like it's a piece of metal. So that is those that I've just showed. So there they all are, all these different lovely 
textures and patterns. And I'll just show you some others here. So this is just what I was playing around when I first got it. So you can just see them again on that bubble. That was a whole piece there using the, one of the purples. That was the pink thistle. No, it wasn't pink thistle. It was lavender blue. So that's the lavender blue on that one. Again, really nice. See what I mean? It's got, I imagine, like a dragon's skin. That's what that kind of looks like there to me. Or a unicorn or a mermaid. Ah, mermaid. Mermaid's um, tail, that could be as well. So you see what I mean? They, they would work great for, you know, any kind of, yeah, magical card you're going to make with things like that in the background. So cool. So that is what it does. And then I'm just going to create a couple of cards. So I think I'm going to use, I definitely want to do this one. It's bone dry now. So again, that didn't take long at all. So I'm going to do a nice card with that one. And um, well, I'm going to do them all. I'm going to mat them all onto my cards, ready to go, and then kind of build them up from there and just show you the end result. Okay, so I'll quickly just show you as well how to create kind of just plain backgrounds for you to then be able to die cut so you've got matching embellishments. So these two I'd already done, and this is using the, um, was it this one here? So this is when I need my swatch notes, this one here, the lavender blue. Um, yeah, that one there. Okay, so that's giving me those two. So that's a real, it is a real strong purple colour. And there's like a nice baby blue. So that's those two and they're ready now to obviously be tight to die cut. And then I want to do matching for this one here and this one here, which is golden flamingo, which is that one there. And then my blue is blue parakeet, which is that one there, I think. No, sorry, lavender blues are just done. Blue parakeets, that one there, isn't it? Yeah. So all you do is just grab, so I've got some plain, drop my black, so I'll do that one. So I've just got a piece of plain, plain white in just exactly the same way. And you just, again, load up your sponge. And grab some copy paper. And just start, just as you kind of would use any of your um, you know, inks, your distressed inks, and just kind of load up your paper. And the nice thing about this is you can build it up. So once you've done it once, if you're not happy with it, just go over it again once it's dry. Because like I said, the bottom's almost dry by the time I finish the the other end. And you can see that it just gives you that real lovely pinky, peachy shimmery card okay so you can see that piece there now so the bottom is dry and I can just go stick with it that way because it's easier for me again just go back in and just build it up I don't think I need to do any more that's going to be fine for what I want to do so I'm probably just going to do another tone on tone kind of effect but you can see now I've got two pieces that match so they're ready to go and then again click all that away grab my black piece and then we're going to make the matching one for this I, th I think out of all of them though this is the one for me that really does really make a difference I mean you know you see that green there and then you get that effect so just look <laughs> Just so cool. I love how it's green on the white copy paper underneath when you go off the edges. And you can heat set this if you want. I mean, look at the way that's picking up in there. That looks like, a, again, a galaxy background. I can imagine. I don't know, just, I think that looks really nice. Really, really cool. I'm just going to pop a little bit more on top in some areas. So yeah, if you are into you know mixed media, I do really think you're going to enjoy these. And you can use them on, from what I remember, you can use them on many surfaces. You can obviously, you can do this as well, like I'm doing here. But yeah, you can, I think, I might even say on the back 
likes of these. Like I said, this isn't a review. I'm not like going into it like that. I'm just showing you how I like to use it and what I've been doing. Dip the sponge into the polish and apply circularly. It can also be applied by the finger cloth roller or even a stamp. So you can apply. I imagine actually if you use a brayer, I'm going to try that, and brayer over because you can use it as, like I said, in your mixed media. Um, so you can just take it like this and you can pop it over your stencils or you can just build up, you know, texture like that and that will just dry hard. Um, I'll show you with a stencil here. I'll just use, let's try just the simple polka dot one. That's all dry enough. i just lay this down here and just take some. I haven't prepared this surface at all for stenciling so it may well bleed plus it's just going on copy paper which isn't the best. There you go. Slightly off camera there but there. So it works obviously just let you know as if you know any kind of texture paste really you can use it just like that you just get a really lovely finish. It, this is just so so good it really is. Um, yeah, I love this. And you can also buff them up. I didn't show that, did I? Let me, I'm going to have to rinse that. I mean, I'll rinse that in a second, but you should do it pretty instantly. Um, my mat is pretty grubby, but it's okay. This is dried really, so I don't know if it'll work, but you can buff it over the top. You can really distress it. I mean, actually it is working. You can see it's taking it off there. Again, if you want to create more of a real grungy look. These are great for like Halloween as well, but can you see there now? It's all kind of cracked and and that's just a, with a very almost dry um, cloth there. But again, I can see this being used for Halloween projects. I'm going to throw that away now because I can't really, I've got it all underneath. It's all wet on there as well. But Again, just kind of showing you what you can do with this um, product. I think it's brilliant. I really like it. I like that it goes a long, long way. And um, it can be used, you know, in card making, scrapbooking, mixed media, so many different things. So those sheets that I just made then, I can now run these through. I may well just punch. Let me just show you. Um, this one here, I think I'll just do this one the same. I've got some plates there to run through as well, but I'm going to do one, two, three. I want to redo, I really like this one here, and I think that's going to look lovely in this pink with that quilted background. So I'm going to recreate that. So I need one, two, three. So I've got those three there. And I've got the big one here. These are just stamping up punches. Um, one, four. <laughs> not going to get them all in. What I'll do is I'll just change it up slightly because I'm not going to do another piece of this. I'll make it work. I'll do some smaller ones because I'm going to do silver um, or silver leaves. So we'll do that one, that one, I think that's about all I can get out of that. I can do, you could die cut these little bits if you want to save all that, but again I'm not too worried. That's that one there, and then for this quilted one, I think I might just do silver over the top, although I have done that, so I should really do it. Let's do the same, and just then I've got them all for when I need them. So one. Just managed to get it all out of that blue. So yeah, so I'll add silver flowers, I think, with both of these. So this one will kind of look like that, but with silver, and then that is going to be like that. Again, with silver rather than the gold. So I'm going to finish that. I'll put the video on high speed, just so you can watch me make all the flowers up and everything. And I'll show you how they end up.
Okay, so they're the cards that you just saw me put together. Again, I'm not going to put any, um, you know, sentiment on them yet because this could be used for all kinds of things. I've got some friends that are really bling-tastic and, you know, she may well want this or I might even give it to her as a birthday card. It could be a landscape. I quite like that portrait though and then have the the kind of message down here. I think that will look good. I mean, they are over the top purely because I just wanted to show you the impact that these have. Um, this isn't my general style of card making, but I will be using these in other ways and um, just maybe more... Um, as a little focal point as opposed to over the whole, the whole card and certainly in my scrapbooking I'm going to be using them as well. I think this is probably my favourite. I really like the colours through this and I like the, the tone and everything. I just think that's really nice and then I love that one as well and that's that landscape one and I just love that embossing folder which will be used on many things anyway and then you've got again with the purple there. So I've really tried to show you all the colours and I think you can really see them a bit more when they're all, you know, you can see clearly the blue, you can see that pink, you can see that's purple, you can see that gold colour there. That's the one I done there with that kind of rainbow effect which I thought was nice and I just stamped happy birthday directly onto the card there. Just nice and simple and um, yeah and then that's that grungy looking one there which again can be either you know a portrait or landscape again I'll probably have happy birthday stuck on the flower coming out about there coming off to the edge and um, yeah I think they look I think they look quite nice I think if you're going to go for them and you want to maybe just try one or two then I would say in terms of real contrasting colours I would go for the blue parakeet and I think I'm going to go to this one a lot but then I do really love that's that golden flamingo so again that's got a real contrast there of colour you can see the real rich gold you get and then you get that pinky flamingo colour there which I've done so maybe golden flamingo and blue parakeet because you do get four really different colours there um, but then you know look at it when you start to get the purples there which look really great they're your nice gold tones and then you get that really lovely blue there as well so, I mean, they're all lovely. They've all got some, you know, nice colour on them. So it's entirely up to you. I just went for it and got them all. It's something that's going to, like I said, last me a long time and I'm going to keep using. So, yeah, so you have it. I will stop that now. Like I said, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.